Hello, welcome back to Whitley's World. I am Whitley and if you looked at the past video you would see that nothing changed. Yes, I'm doing this within the same day. So do not make fun of my makeup. I tried, okay? I went inside the bathroom. I looked at YouTube. I was like, okay, Whitley, you got this. And then I, did, I didn't have it. I didn't have it at all. Am I rethinking life right now? Yes. Will I go and take this off? No, because this took work, okay? It's a freaking work, okay? Just the just the eyeshadow alone, even though it looks like a tragedy, took about 30 minutes, okay? Okay, I was trying. I was trying to graduate from YouTube college, okay, with honors, okay? Y'all don't even want to know what the lip gloss looked like, so... <sighs> Keep your negative comments to yourself, okay? But yes, here we are, okay? So I had to get that little spiel out before I continue on with my intro. If you are new here, hello. I don't usually look like this, you know? Usually I just bare face it with like some eyelashes, you feel me, with some with some lip tint, you feel me? And then that's it, but um, not this time, obviously. So yeah, if you're new here, every Wednesday I do Atlanta Eats, and every Sunday, yes, you heard me right, every Wednesday, I mean not Wednesday, <laughs> back it up, back it up. Every Thursday I do Atlanta Eats, and every Sunday I do Cooking with Woodley, which is what I'm doing today. And yes, you did hear it right, every Thursday and Sunday. I have changed my days. It's no longer Wednesdays and Saturdays. The only reason I did that was because of school, but now that I'm out of school, it's every Thursdays and Sundays, okay? So, hello, welcome. Welcome to the foodie family. We hope that you stay, we hope that you enjoy, and we hope that you got some snacks. Gladly my wig then come off. Anyway, so yes, hello. And if you're not new here, welcome back. You already know what's up other than the days that's changed, but everything else is the same. So since today is Sunday, I decided to get into the, to the holidays, okay? I freaking love Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day has to be like the best holiday for me, okay? And I know some people might not say like it's a holiday, but I see it as a holiday. If a person, a girl, right, who has never had a boyfriend, never been in a relationship, never even known what that is. I freaking love Valentine's Day because of the candy. And I don't even eat candy like that, but I just love the fact that everybody else give candy to like everybody and then you get, you just get to be around people that you love, okay? So I love it. And if you know me, if you have been new me, every Valentine's Day I love to give things out to people. Well, I don't wanna say that like that. I love to give things out to people who are single. You feel me? Because again, I've been single for like my whole life. So I just like to hand people, you know, cause some people feel down on Valentine's day and I don't like to see people down. So even in high school, like I would go get some candy and bring it to my friends who are single every freaking Valentine's day. And I just like it. So today in honor of Valentine's day, I am making some cheesecakes. Actually, I'm making some mini cheesecakes and, sorry, had some food from the last video. Woo, check that out by the way. Um, and not only that, I am gonna be a little bit experimental. As usual, I will leave the recipe in the description below, but today, I wanted some graham crackers, some chocolate graham crackers, and my Walmart, you know, is hood. Um, they didn't have any. So I am about to be a very experimental right now, okay? If I happen to burn down my house, I'm sorry, okay? I am, I am. You won't be seeing more videos from me, I'm sorry, but I gotta, I gotta go down with the ship because this was my idea. But yeah, so you'll see what I'm about to use or you'll probably piece it together once I tell you like the ingredients, but just know it's about to be very experimental. But the cheesecake itself, like the actual filling, will be very much the same probably 
I might change that up too. Honestly, I'm just gonna go all out because Valentine's Day is my favorite day. So yes. Um wow, I just went on a whole school about Valentine's Day. But yeah, so let's get into ingredients. So what you will need for the mini cheesecakes is some graham crackers. Some granulated sugar, butter, two packs of cream cheese, vanilla extract, salt, three large eggs. Hopefully it's not room temperature because I don't got room temperature eggs. And heavy whipping cream. Now for my little two cents of the recipe, I have white baking chips. And hot cocoa. Yes, you heard right, hot cocoa. Okay, just walk with me here, walk with me here. You'll see what I do with it, but just trust the process, okay? And that is all you will need for the cheesecake. Mini cheesecakes, by the way. That is all that you will need for the cheesecake filling, so let me see what we gotta do first. This is magical, oh my gosh, time. And oh my gosh, doors. Oh my gosh, let me get this. Okay. So we're just gonna line. Oh my gosh. I tried to find some Valentine's Day ones and I just could not find them. Again, Hood Walmart. So we're just gonna use the pink ones, okay? We're just gonna just gonna take the all the other ones off. <laughs> I'll just use the pink ones, okay? So, is this still pink? Oh my gosh, get off. If you're not pink. Oh my gosh, they only give us how many? Oh my gosh, F it, okay? So, we're just gonna put these in there. And, can you see me? Okay, <clears throat> oh my gosh, ooh. She said the next thing to do is pulse the graham crackers and sugar and food processor, we don't have that, until finally ground and add the butter and pulse until the mixture resembles wet sand. Okay, so we're just gonna start with pulsing the graham crackers and sugar. One pack, oh my gosh, one package of graham crackers? Okay, so we're just gonna take this off. Oh, maybe she means like one package of graham crackers. One package of graham crackers. Just gonna take these out. I'm just gonna put them in here, you know, boom, bow. Oh my gosh, please don't drop. Okay, so you might be wondering, how are you gonna do this, Willie? Well, it's simple, really. We're just gonna get this bowling, rolling pin right here. We're gonna get this cutting board right here. We're gonna put this on top of this, and then we're just gonna whoop. Oh my gosh, that did not work at all. Eh. Oh my gosh. Okay, you know what? Maybe I should open it up a little bit so that air can escape. There we go. So we still have some big chunks in here, but I mean, you could just easily, you know, just crush those out. There you go. Now we're just gonna add the sugar. So one, two. I'm just gonna shake it up. Now the hard part comes with adding the butter, but I got something for that too. Okay, so here's where stuff starts to, please don't let the air be in the butter. Is it, is it, okay, no. Here's where stuff starts to differ, okay? So, just trying to protect my hair. Um, so we are gonna split the graham crackers up into two mixtures. And in one of them, we're gonna put the hot chocolate cocoa mix because um, again, I don't have no cocoa to make chocolate graham crackers. So we're gonna make chocolate graham crackers. So yeah. So here's what we're gonna do. We are gonna pour some of the mixture in here as stated. 
pour in some of that. Okay, the other half is going to be for the brown crackers. Bring y'all closer. Well, after we take the graham crackers out, we're going to reduce it to 325 degrees. And then for the filling, we have in a large bowl with a mixer on medium speed, beat the cream cheese and sugar for three minutes or until fluffy. And then we're going to beat in the vanilla and salt until com combined. Okay, so I just took the graham crackers out. We're going to let it set and cool off. And now we're going to move on to the filling. Okay, so I already have the two packs of cream cheese in here and the one cup of sugar. So they say to have this on medium and um, go crazy with it until it gets fluffy. So I'm just gonna... Oh my gosh, let me get this, oh my gosh. You can stop right here and make cream cheese frosting. Just so you know. Anyway, so I think this is light and fluffy enough. So now, now we're gonna add in two teaspoons of vanilla and one teaspoon of salt. Two. One. Two. Boom, one teaspoon of salt and mix again. I just do that so the icing get off. Okay, and then we're gonna be in one egg at a time. So, first egg. Boom. Okay. 
So that's the first egg. Second egg. Boom. That was the second egg, and then the third egg. Boom. Okay, that was the third egg, and now you can look at the whipped cream. I just it just came out like this. So pour one fourth cup of whipping cream in here and blend. And there you have it. That is your cheesecake filling. So now all we have to do is just put this in this. Okay, so how am I gonna do this exactly, you ask? Honestly, I don't know. So we're just gonna get some of this. Okay, boom, pour it in here. You feel me? Innovation, honey. Get some more of this. And do it for the rest. So, I'm going to stop here. I got the regular ones filled, okay? So, if you recall, I said that um, I'm going to be using white chocolate chips. Here's where it comes in at. So, we are going to get the white chocolate chips. Again, all of this is very experimental. Am I supposed to be doing any of this? Probably not. Am I going to do it anyway? Yes. Okay. So we're going to get the chocolate chips. Once I figure out how to open these. Okay. And then we are going to be mixing them with the filling so i'm gonna give some filling you feel me i am going to put some chocolate chips in the filling i could do this like while it's out there but i want it to like mix together you feel me and i am going to put it in here do you feel me yeah you do i would have clamped it up for y'all but again lazy anyway And who would I be if I would have planned it up for y'all? You know, just think about that. Anyway, it says bake the cheesecakes for 12 to 15 minutes or until set, but still slightly jiggly and moist in the center. Let them cool in pans for five minutes. So we're going to set them in there for 12 minutes. And then if it's not jiggly and moisturized, then we're going to let it sit for another three minutes. And honestly, we're done. Honestly, like once they come out, I'm just going to decorate them, you know, put the Whitley flare on them. You feel me? And then after that, I'm done. I'm going to play them. I'm going to make it look cute. Okay, I'm going to try my hardest to make these things look cute for y'all. But yeah, that's it. You know, happy Valentine's Day, even though this is not going to go up on Valentine's Day. But happy Valentine's Day. And if you're single, okay don't sit there and mope around okay don't worry about all these other couples who is out there getting teddy bears and going to the fair and going for walks and take it out to dinner <laughs> i'm not sad you're sad anyway if you are single like whatever okay go get ready uh put on some makeup if you do that if you don't put on some nice clothes go inside your living room sit down on that couch and watch some good netflix shows okay because that's what i'm gonna be doing okay i'm gonna have me some nice food okay don't forget that that is very important have you some nice food have you some netflix or whatever show you are watching and just watch it okay like don't worry about all the other people your day will come if you want it honestly i'm going for like a oprah kind of relationship you feel me where she have her stepman but like stepman ain't there but he's there you feel me because i'm trying to keep all my coins you feel me but anyway happy valentine's day and i will see you all when i get these out and when i plate them 
so see you later i look like i <laughs> i look like i just got done partying and um yeah that's that's what i look like um i look drunk i look like i made a lot of bad choices in my life which i have i have but uh yeah, the reason I got on this coat is because it's a little bit cold in my house. So, yeah, especially in my room because I got like stuff covering my vents. So, heat don't come in here. So I gotta gotta be innovative. Anyway, um, wig change. Yes. Um, why wig change? Because I'm doing other stuff after this. I'm not going out. <laughs> not not in the pandemic. Um, but I am, you know, doing some other stuff with my business. So, uh, excuse me. Um, I decided to do this. Anyway, these are the cheesecakes, okay? Let me just, let me just fix my face. Okay. <laughs> okay, you know, you know, you know. You know, you know, let me, let me just, let me take off the the coat for a minute so you feel me this is my this is my wig I, I just oh my gosh I am so sorry <laughs> like, I'm trying okay anyway so you know you know um yeah so these are the cheesecakes do I know which one is the regular and which one is the chocolate? No, I don't. Did I try to put it in a position where I would know which one is the regular and which one is the chocolate? No, I didn't. So, just gonna smell it, you feel me? And <laughs> see which one it is. So this one, let me, let me, if I see some marshmallows in there, we know we got the the chocolate anyway so here we are oh look at it look at it i think i did a great job uh this one is the chocolate one i see a little bit of white chocolate here so this one is the chocolate one i'm just gonna put it right here and then let me get a regular one i think this one would be a regular one okay excuse me i hope so anyway you know what hold up Hold up, nah, I don't trust that one. That one looks suspicious. Did I need to add the white chocolates? No. But this is how it looks on the inside. I don't know with the lighting if you can see it, but this is how it looks on the inside. The white chocolate is like right here. Um, did I have to add the white chocolate? Did not have to do the white chocolate, but did do the white chocolate. Um, will I do the white chocolate again? No. But, um... Do you taste the chocolate in the graham crackers? No. No, my experiment was a failure. Oh, so, yeah. That's pretty much it. That's all. Um, you don't have to, you know, keep looking at my face because I think you can see my eyeshadow probably still. I put on big eyelashes. I'm not an eyelashes girl, but I had to put them on. I had to, I had to twinkle, 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 you know, so that y'all could not see the eyeshadow. Um yeah so and then i had to put on a wig so it just it distracts from what's going on in here anyway thank you so very much for watching i hope you all have an amazing day please do not forget to like and subscribe and i will see you all thursday peace